Good evening, y'all. Today, the Lord wanted me to talk about spirit spouses. I actually got this probably like three weeks ago. I was just sitting down, chilling, and the Lord was like, spirit spouses. And I heard it again, spirit spouses. I said, this must be something you want me to make a video about. Um, I really didn't think I knew this much about it, you know, at all. So it, was, it really caught me by surprise. It was very random. <laughs> And so that's why I'm like, okay, well, Lord, you want me to talk about spirit spouses? Here, here goes. I actually um, didn't do any research until after I had written everything down. So this is why I'm kind of surprised that I know what I know about it in a way. So what is a spirit spouse? A spirit spouse is a demonic entity, unclean spirit, that can be inherited through sexual immorality, perversion, and generational curses. It's also called the incubus and succubus spirit, you know, and Lilith, um, this is what the name Lil Lilith is associated with, is the spirit spouse, okay? And it could be caused by molestation as well, y'all. That was my own personal definition of it. Um, and like I said, when I did research, it aligns with what I looked up to as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so these unclean spirits can cause illnesses within the body mainly the sexual organs and leaves a demonic residue i'm gonna tell y'all what those illnesses are in just a moment okay so these spirits are also tied to witchcraft so y'all um from your imagination you could imagine i i did have a spirit spouse um while i was going through witchcraft and things like that y'all and the term spouse it comes from a person coming into agreement with that spirit you know whether knowingly or unknowingly and like demons like to trick people to come into agreement with them so i mean a lot of people are in agreement with demonic spirits right now and they don't even know you know they trick people into coming into agreement with it and actually marrying them in the spirit realm and you can be married in the spirit realm to a demonic entity okay whether knowingly or unknowingly called also called a soul tie also called a soul tie and for example if you are having sexual dreams like i'll be telling y'all about and you're not rebuking them and renouncing them and casting them down um if they keep returning and you don't go do something about it or tell your pastor deliverance person um about this they could latch on to you in the spirit realm um because they are very tricky y'all these spirits they they dumb but they very smart when it comes down to of destroying people's lives like they've been doing this for decades they know exactly what to do they've studied human beings for years for years and decades and decades okay so they know exactly what to do to trick people and come into agreement with them um, these spirits are very aggressive they have been also known to murder their victims they can also murder other people that's tied to them as well um giving them certain heart pal palpitations i don't know if i'm saying that right um and things like that and that they can also, you know, get a hold of the person that has a relationship with you if you have a spirit spouse, okay? It can run them off. It's known to run people off and out of your life. I do remember when I was going through witchcraft that um, I already knew people, certain people was not going to be in my life long. I just knew. If you have a spirit spouse, you know, this is just an example. Um, it will run off the people that you're trying to date. I mean, it, this isn't a regular type of dating, y'all. This is just, you can, you know that something is running your dates off. You know, it's it's just like, this has never happened before. Why everybody so repelled by me? Um, you probably have a spirit spouse. And if you are married, um, that spirit, the spirit spouses can cause, you know, weird arguments over nothing, strife, and all type of complications within your marriage trying to get you guys to divorce or to hurt or harm one another um the end of, at the end of the day it's meant to destroy both parties um at the end of the day and anything that it gets its hands on it isn't um one of them which they hurt each other too but still um you will find that you and your partner are arguing all the time over nothing it can cause you not to want to have sex with your partner um, you will be suddenly repulsed by your partner, by your in, um, by the person that you are married to. And it's just, you know, it don't make no sense. You don't really understand why you don't want them to touch you. You just don't. Spirit spouses can make it like impossible for you to carry on meaningful uh, friendships and relationships. They even uh, mess with people's friendships, friendships too as well because it's a very jealous spirit. It don't want anybody near you or on, uh, or on you or... Um, near you or anything like that 
sharing its space. It wants to be the only thing that's in your life. And in a lot of cases, the person that's in the relationship with someone who has a spirit spouse, they die in a lot of, in a lot of cases. Unless the guy has a covering over them and he'll probably get them to leave you leave you alone or the person that has a spirit spouse alone. You'll have to leave them alone because you'll be in danger, okay? As for the illnesses, spirit spouses are tied to illnesses such as ovarian cysts, you know, ovarian cancer, um, PCOS, things like that, y'all. And men, it can also cause erectile dysfunction. Um, with PCOS, y'all, um, I had that. I had it, but Miss Williams, she removed it. I didn't have to go to the doctor or anything like that. Um, I didn't even know I had it until she told me, and then I looked up the symptoms, and I was like, okay, that is definitely what's going on with me. And Miss Williams, she she removed that, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. All of that stuff is gone. For women, this is tied to miscarriage too as well. If you're having multiple miscarriages and things like that, unexplained miscarriages, even if they are explained, um, look in the spirit first before you look anywhere else because most likely you have a spirit spouse and um, they don't want you to have nobody's kids but theirs. That's, that's how it works, y'all. And it's um, it's a spiritual thing. You have to really... I didn't, I didn't even want to talk about this, but hey, um, apparently somebody needs to know this, okay? For those of you who don't know this too, demons can implant themselves in a, in a woman's reproductive organs. Um, they can implant themselves in your ovaries, leaving a demonic residue within your body. And it does poison your reproductive system and in reproductive organs and all of that. It can poison the whole body, but usually where they plant themselves at, what that's where they're going to do the most damage, y'all. And um, these spirits are spirits that actually rape people um, in their sleep, causing sleep paralysis, choking people in their sleep, y'all. This stuff is serious. Um... I know every time I get on here, I'll be like, well, this is why I've been gone. But yeah, this is why I've been gone. Because I ain't really want to. When the Lord told me this, sometime I'd be like, you want me to talk about this? And he'd be like, yes. Okay, so in the book of Genesis, it speaks about the angels. Um, the fallen angels having sex with humans and creating babies and all that stuff, which we call the ne they call them the Nephilim. All right, if you go read Genesis 6 and 4, it'll tell you a lot of about that and i think it's some of it in isaiah too as well it may not be isaiah but i think it's isaiah so guys i suggest y'all go look into that and check on it and see what's up with that also another thing guys you can actually become pregnant by these entities in the spirit realm and give birth to certain stuff it may not be a physical baby but um you can birth things like confusion and uh perversion sexual immorality so on and so forth y'all and it's very real okay if you need help getting rid of this pcos um ovarian cysts and things like that if you need help if you are going through any of this that i mentioned today that i've been putting off saying i hope i'm not too late coming out with this message but um email me my email will be in the description box and um, I will point you in the right direction so that you can get rid of this stuff. Um, guys, this stuff is very serious. People do lose their lives behind this. So do not forget to email me. Don't be scared to email me. You want your life to be peaceful and free of any of this stuff. Like, you know, but like I said, I was going through PCOS and I had one and didn't even know it. Um, but that comes with witchcraft. When somebody does witchcraft on you, it just opens the doors to all types of stuff. You just never know what you may be experiencing. But yeah, it's gone. Miss Williams removed it. So if you email me, I will refer you to her. And let's get the ball rolling, y'all. Okay. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. I got through this video. And um, yeah, I didn't want to do this. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. <laughs> so Lord, thank you, Jesus, for helping me to get through this video. All right, I love y'all. Bye.